Greetings of the day. Welcome one and all in our general knowledge class of chapter number 1 named Fabled Headlines. In this chapter children we have to guess the names of the fables. Fables children are stories where animals speak and act like human beings. Fairy tales, children's stories or nursery rhymes suggested by a newspaper headlines. The first suggested headline children is second false alarm won't answer another towns folk say the answer is the boy who cried wolf we all know that this tale concerns a shepherd boy who repeatedly tricks nearby villagers into thinking a wolf is attacking his town's flock when a wolf actually does appear and the boy again calls for help the villagers believe that it is another false alarm and the sheep are eaten by the wolf the second one is cot napping slower runner wins napping children is sleeping for a short while especially during a day the answer is the hare and the tortoise we all know this famous and interesting fable the story goes like this a tortoise and hare decide to race the hare is so confident in the lead that he naps while the tortoise keeps going to win the third one is local boy vaults open flame escapes unhurt these lines have been taken children from nursery rhyme jack b nimble the fourth newspaper headline children which we have to guess is royal daughter bruised legume blamed bruised children here means wounded or hurt and legume we all know is the fruit or seed of a plant the answer is the famous fairy tale named the princess and the pea this is han christian andersen's most famous tale about a prince who wants to marry only a genuine princess so one stormy night a girl knocks at the palace claiming to be a princess but prince tests her by making her sleep on at least 20 mattresses and keeps a pea under them the next morning the princess reports that she couldn't sleep because of a lump in her bed the prince gets satisfied that a true princess would be so sensitive that she could feel a pea under so much padding the fifth one is siblings escape cannibal turn tables on her cannibal children is the one who eats the flesh of its kind it is a tale of two siblings hansel and gretel who are left by their stepmother in woods all alone there they meet an evil witch who wants to eat them but luckily the children use their wits and trick her into getting into her own oven and thus escaping alive from there sixth one is the shoe fits made to wed prince answer is cinderella it is a story of a wicked stepmother and two jealous step sisters who keep cinderella enslaved in rags but cinderella with the help of a fairy godmother attends the royal ball thrown by the king for his son to choose the suitable bride for him according to the magic cinderella was supposed to leave the party before midnight which she forgets and while rushing back home she loses one shoe at the ball which the prince uses to find her and then marry her seventh one curse broken no more lily pads for me says prince answer is the princess and the frog it is a story of a spoiled princess reluctantly be friends a frog prince whom the evil witch had cast a spell and turned him into a frog and how he it changes into a human being is a story eighth headline is scandal tall runaway shacks up with short miners public outcry answer is snow white and the seven dwarfs children do we remember mirror mirror on the wall who is the fairest of them all jealous of snow white's beauty her stepmother the wicked queen exiled her into the dangerous forest but snow white is rescued by seven dwarf miners 
who make her part of their household. Ninth headline is Disabled rodents attacked farmer's wife sought for questioning. Children, it is a beautiful nursery rhyme named Three Blind Mice. The tenth one is Suicide or Murder King's Staff at a loss to explain tragic fall. Answer we all know children is a nursery rhyme Humpty Dumpty. We have all recited in our nursery class this beautiful nursery rhyme Humpty Dumpty sat on a ball. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. I think children you must have enjoyed the lesson. Stay at home, stay safe and healthy.